I am Miss Jane and I'm here with the Suffolk Public Library for another DIY for everything things that you have at home and I'm gonna be talking about fractions everybody's favorite and I'm sure you guys are all trying to think of new and exciting ways to talk about math in the household and here's one thing that I really like when talking about fractions because this is really great for those visual learners and those tactile learners because you get to touch it you get to feel it you can see it um, and they're really really easy to make so I just use regular paper plates these just the cheap ones it doesn't matter and I just printed out these regular fraction pie charts and I will have a link to some that you can find online in the description of the video and what I did was I cut out this circle and I just glued it to the paper plate and then I cut it out along the black lines and you can also you can draw these yourself you don't have to print these you can draw them with the sharpie uh, it's a lot of fun if you let your kids color them afterwards and then you have really colorful fractions it's even more fun if maybe they do all of the same fraction in the same color so that when you're combining fractions you can really see those differences it's very visual and uh, you can get it in lots of different denominations here i've got one eighth one quarter one half one ninth one third one sixth and another great thing is you can mix and match how you put these fractions together so you can talk about how one quarter is the same as two eighths because and you can see it it's like right in front of you or two one halves make a whole and how many how you can combine them or maybe how if you put a quarter and a third together you're not going to get an exact whole plate like you wanted and another easy trick is you can make your own fractions out of anything any any everyday object you can just measure out the different um, sections so I've got a yardstick here and I'm just gonna put a line next to each quarter because this is about four inches and I have some super cool safety scissors here so I can't cut through the whole toilet paper roll so a trick here is to cut it down one side and then you can cut along those marks that you made and this will make four rings and you can have them build their own fractions out of the toilet paper tube and like I said, you can do this with any everyday object. You can use plates, you can use toilet paper rolls, you can use a piece of paper, uh, you can color a picture, and you can cut that into sections. Um, and it's really, it's honestly more fun than you might think you could have with math. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you make your own, please tag us in social media. We are Suffolk Public Library, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.